I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of president to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the pres office of president of the, the United States. The office of president of the United States faithfully. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute the office of president of the United States. The office of president of the United States. <laughs> Well, it's been quite a while, but we're still here. It seems like it's been years. It feels like that you put me in a time capsule. Put you in a time capsule? Well, yeah. if I did, I've dug you up because we're back. We're here for episode, the first double digit episode, episode 10 of the Mitten Men. Double digit? Double digits. We're in the double digits of episodes, finally. <laughs> you know, one, zero, ten. Yeah, yeah, I just, it's funny. Double digit, I think of something else. What do you think of? Um, midgets. When I say double digits? Yeah, it's little no stubs. I don't think you can say midget anymore. You can, well, it has to be like little people or... I wasn't referring to little people. Who? Know? Well, I guess I was. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, I threw you off with that one. Yeah. You're not going to start... Midgets that. is cool. You can say midget. I don't think you're supposed to say midget anymore. What do you call them? Dwarf? <laughs> right? Hey, dwarf. Get out of the way. Well, it's cooler now because of Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Don't yell at me like Alex Jones. Hey, you can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Nominee. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. Keep it cool, or we're going we're to bring 1776 back. It will rise again, Chris. We will rain on you like... Frogs. If you come to take anything of ours, 1776 will commence again. What are you going to take away, Brian? What will I take away? You're going to take away my rights, my freedom, my uh, liberty? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, yes. You don't tread on me. That's right. I don't know. I mean, if you take the guns away, Chris, uh, everything is lost. We won't talk about that. We're going to save that later. We're saving it for later? Yeah, we might as well save that for later. Well, we so much has happened. Let's not open it up. What? <laughs> <laughs> you did almost go Alex Jones at me right there. <laughs> I stopped myself. Now I feel like Pierce Morgan. You really threw me off. You need to have oh your, your British accent. I'm just going to sit here, shell shocked. Menace that she okay. plans Alex. to try Alex. to take Mr. and Mrs. America's guns. Stop have you seen that over me. You Let guys me... want to disarm all of America? No, I don't. Diane Feinstein no, bill does. I don't. Gun confiscation. No. Let me clarify for you. You don't seem to understand. First you what register, then you confiscate. No. Always done the same. Here's what the campaign on this Give me your little cue cards and I'll answer your questions for what you. Was... You sit there with your little, uh, your little British face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I tell you what, put the trunks on, buddy. We'll get in the <laughs> ring. We'll see who's the real man here. Talking about fucking crack head. Crack, is that the word I want? Or I, that would, I guess that would work. I just crazy. Whack job. Whack job, yes. There was people arguing with me on Twitter, on at the Mitten Men on Twitter. They were saying, you just got to listen to what Alex Jones is saying. You just got to listen. And I'm going, you can't take someone like that serious when you're just screaming and ranting and raving on television. Well, you, do you take me serious? Do I take you serious? You're not screaming yeah. and ranting and raving at me. I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, in private, but uh, I suppose that uh, could be another story. <laughs> you know, if my dog or cat could talk, they would probably say Chris masturbates a lot. <laughs> What, do you just let them watch you? Well, come on, what are you going to do? You can kick them away from your leg, but they just come back. I take them out of the room and <laughs> shut the door. Too much work. <laughs> it's got to be quick and now for you. Yep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so what do you want to talk about? Man, it, there's so much has happened since the last a, episode. Well, the last episode was what? It was the Christmas episode. It was the Christmas special. It views was... are lacking. It's still, even though Christmas is over, I implore you all to go back and revisit the yeah, Christmas special. Yeah, episode 9, the holiday special. Oh. Holiday. Yeah. We covered them all in that episode. I think we did. We did. We sent out 2012 right. 2012? 2012. It's 2013 now. Is it? It's the first episode of the year. Not only is it the double digit episode, Whoa! it's the first ep- Mint Men of 2013. It's blow my mind how time flies. Have you had trouble writing down uh, 13 on checks and bank statements? Yes. No. Do you like? Yeah. Well, like I said, I don't pay my bills, right? <laughs> so I don't write checks. <laughs> what are you, Peter from Office Space? All of a sudden? No. <laughs> I just I don't go to work. I don't. You know, it's it's stupid now. Kids are getting shot, you know, people are getting shot in the malls. It's not worth it anymore. I just stay home and do my thing and pray to God I don't get evicted. <laughs> I work hard to sit home and stare at the wall because I'm too scared to go outside. I am. Like, do you watch the news? <laughs> I think that's the problem. There, there's nothing good. I've realized that there's nothing. Because um... when something happens, they blast it 24 hours a day for seven days in a row. Yeah. Everyone has an opinion, and it's annoying. No offense, and Can you imagine my heart goes if out twenty-four hour everything. news. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sorry. No, go ahead, Alex. Okay, so. <laughs> but I need to. I don't. Oh fuck. Okay. No, go ahead. No, you go, Alex. <laughs> no, no, it's good. Go. <laughs> You're making me lose my train of thought now. I know. Uh, no. Oh, I know. What I was gonna say. Can you imagine if twenty-four hour news is around during the old west? I mean, people would be <laughs> shot all the time. Go ahead. Make my day. Jesse James would be famous. Famous sir. Famous sir. Wasn't that a wrestling finish? More famous. <laughs> More famous. The fame asser. That was a wrestling finish. Do you know who that was a finishing move for? The what? The fame asser. <laughs> what are you saying? The fame asser. <laughs> Are you saying Asser? Asser. Asser. Spell it. A S S E R. That's what I thought you said. There was an actual wrestler named that? No, that was his finishing move. Oh. Whose finishing move was it? Billy Gunn. Badass Billy Gunn. I got it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ass man. Yeah, I'm an ass man. Because he's an ass man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I right love there. to kick him. <laughs> I love to... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love to kick but so yeah, you... the media is shit. Yeah, Except it is. Except for us. I, do you even count us as media? We're not media. We are we entertainment. We the media. We do. Okay. Well, yeah, I well, mean... No, I mean, I don't know what we do. I don't consider you myself real stoners media. sitting at home wasting time. <laughs> well, maybe you, sir. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's so stoned, he doesn't even know. <laughs> but anyway, where I'm going with this, um, you were talking about the media? No, I think you were talking about the media. The news. You were talking about the news or some shit? Um, if there's one thing I learned from the horrible events in Newtown, mm-hmm. um, only because the media overly exposed it, am I wrong? Of course. Eventually, I just toned out the news story, and I could couldn't help myself but admire the scenery that the news reporters were standing behind or in front of. <laughs> That's one way of coping. It was nice, quiet, quaint river scenes, <laughs> a barn here, <laughs> a local grocer there. Evergreens <laughs> everywhere. Like, if, if the shooting didn't happen, perhaps I'd vacation there. Really? Maybe a bed and breakfast? <laughs> yeah. Or a shooting range. Well, the media took a further <laughs> hit, too, with uh, Manti Teo. Hey Chris, I got I forgot to tell you. Huh. I uh I have a girlfriend now. You do. She's online. She's an amazing person. What? Yeah, we talk every night for a long time. Really? Mhm. Congrat. What's her name? I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. <laughs> I I know, but <laughs> Give me All right. You, but you I don't swear know her she's name. real. Uh Karen. Really? Yes. How's your grandma? My grandma, she's not doing well. She ill? Yep. Perhaps on her deathbed. But it's okay because I've gotten through it and I said I would do the show <laughs> with my dying grandma. 
And I said I would leave Karen alone for a little while. I have to go through and do the show. Karen? Karen. Who's Karen? My online girlfriend. Oh, see, I thought you didn't know her name. I made her up. (laughs) (laughs) Man, Titeo, huh? Probably uh, the best liar in sports history. Nope, I take that back. Him and Lance Armstrong. It's a tight race right now. Oh, yeah, (laughs) jeez. Through all the other news, I totally forgot about him. I know, right? (laughs) It's funny how one liar makes you think of another. But anyway, we'll go to him later. But let's talk about this. What's his name? Matt, Matt Man, Teo? Manti Teo. The Manti Teo, whatever that is. That Madrin? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I, I, I think it's Hawaiian. Okay. Or Polynesian, probably. It's Jibberu. <laughs> oh, my God. What? You could say Jibberu. Jibberu? You could say Jibberu. <laughs> it sounds derogatory, even if it's not. <laughs> No, but uh, everyone, everyone knows the story at this point where he was saying that he was having this girlfriend who was in a car wreck and was dying of leukemia. And well, was it leukemia? I thought she had triple threat cancer. I, <laughs> triple threat. You know what that is. Yeah, I, cancer is not a joke, and I'm not... He started this. Manti? So, yeah. Well, he was using it for some sympathy, man. <laughs> or was he using it for Heisman votes and a good draft pick? That's what I'm saying. For that sympathy, and he was having an amazing season on top. And shame on Notre Dame. Yeah, well, it's a rich bassist. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love that they're more concerned about a girl that never existed as opposed to the two girls that got raped by football players. But shh, under the rug, sweep it. How do you think Regis Film is taking this? It's out of control! <laughs> Galvin! <laughs> Galvin, what's going on with Notre Dame? <laughs> you know he's a big Notre Dame fan. Oh, yeah, of course. Is he alumni? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, that would explain the whole... He probably pulls his cock out every time you mention Notre Dame. <laughs> or Lou Holtz. Yeah, I thought he was the mascot there, to be honest with you. <laughs> Lou Holtz? No! Regis? Yes. <laughs> well, they do have no, that leprechaun little guy. Little fighting Irishman. Yeah, that, at football games, he's dressed as a little fighting Irishman. <laughs> and who's Lou Holtz? He's the guy that... He's that coach that sucks dick. What? Or at least sounds like it when he talks. Yeah, right. Oh, Lou Holtz. <laughs> I've been coaching for 50 years. I love football. I know everything and everything about football. Who doesn't love Notre Dame? Who doesn't love clock? He used to coach at Notre Dame. <laughs> really? Yeah, Lou Holtz. Oh, shit. Sure. That's what got him famous. No, I think his cock sucking got him famous. There was something, as opposed to uh, sensationalist news stories, or just news stories that aren't covered well. Uh, sensational. This was covered well, and it upset you greatly. Lance Armstrong? No, not Lance Armstrong. What? Uh, the Oscar nominations came out. I don't even... The Oscars? The Oscar nominations. The Academy Awards. Thank you. I'm glad we're going to bring this up, Brian. And can you permit me really quick to just pull up some of the nominations really quick? Sure. Well, the Oscars have been going on for what? It's like the 77th or 80th Academy Award? Yeah, I a long time. And, uh... Oh, do you know any of the nominees? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know many off the top of my head. I read them when they came out. Oh, here we go. All right. So what category do you want to know first? By the way, this is the 85th Academy Award. 85th. 85th. I've been watching it for at least 25 years. Well, you were probably more the expert than me, so you go ahead with the nominations. Here we go. Let's start off with the uh, Grand Hoorah. Uh, best Picture. Wow. Yeah, Starting off big. Well, we'll say that. Okay. Um... No, you know what? It's not even... Hold on a second. I have to select it. (laughs) (laughs) This is why we're not the Oscars review show. (laughs) They'd probably get better ratings if they were. Maybe. I could host it. Could you host it? I wouldn't want to host the Oscars. It'd be awesome! Dude, we wear a tux and we just say, Ladies and gentlemen, you watched them in so-and-so. Here's uh, Seth MacFarlane and Emma (laughs) Stone. (laughs) That's all you gotta do. <laughs> what would we do for our opening monologue? <laughs> we can take like uh, we'll take all the movies that are nominated for Best Picture and just mash them into one epic film. <laughs> you brought that up before. I did, and it's a great idea. So we probably should. Just, I, I mean, I've got that trademark, so no one can steal that. <laughs> um. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're still getting the Best Picture, everyone. <laughs> all right. 
So, let's start off with, um... Best Picture. You want to start with the grand one, the big one first? Yes. Let's go Best Actor. Alright, fine, Best Actor. Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Put teas in everyone. Okay, we got Alan Arkin. Wait, so Best Supporting Actor. This is Best Actor in Supporting Role, yeah. We got, um, Little Miss Sunshine's Grandpa, um... Alan Arkin in Argo. That's the uh, Iranian film that um, Ben Affleck directed. The uh, Iran hostage situation. Yep, it's when they go in posing as a uh, a movie and they get, them, get they take them out. They get them out. <laughs> okay, are you there? Well, yeah, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> no, it's good. We got this. All right, coming up next for best supporting actor is you know America's favorite Italian, Robert De Niro for, for Silver Linings Playbook. Brian, do you know anything about this movie? I do not. Nor do I. Well, let's move on. Right. Oh, we got Philip Seymour Huffman. This is good. He's Philip always Seymour nominated. Huffman. What's that? He's always nominated. Not really. This I think this is only his third or fourth nomination. Well, he's nominated all the time. Now he is because he's really finally getting to realize that, wow, he's a great actor. All right. All right. Fine. You don't want to debate it. No, um, I'm just, he's nominated all the time. He is not. He only, all right. He won for Capote, and that was like in 2006. And then he wasn't nominated again until like 2008. And then he was nominated for Doubt, and that was 2010. So, I mean, they skipped a year, which is weird. I don't know, it just seems like he's always nominated. Coming up next is Tommy Lee Jones for your favorite movie, Lincoln. Winner. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm not even that huge of a Tommy Lee Jones fan. He was awesome. Okay. And I know you saw Django, Christoph Waltz. And I don't like the movie Django. I thought it was disgusting. I didn't see any humor in it, and I was appalled at the fact that people in the theater were laughing. But but you laughed, Spike Jones, or not Spike I Jones, Spike because, Lee, Spike Jones. <laughs> there was some shit that you know. I mean, it was a nervous reaction. <laughs> but it wasn't for everyone else. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Christoph Waltz. He's great. He's great. He, he was might in, win um, too. He's probably he probably is going to win. I think. What movie was Seymour, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's? The Master? I don't, I don't it's know. It's like that. that where he starts a cult and stuff and gets believers believing in him. That's what Glenn Beck's doing lately. Pretty much. Nice name drop, by the way. Yeah. We got Amy Adams for The Master. You might remember Amy Adams from um, uh, The Fighter. That was with, um, God, uh, Mark Wahlberg and uh, Christian Bale. Do you remember that? Yeah, but I never saw that one. I never did I. Shit. She got nominated. Um, ooh, Sally Field, Gidget, The Flying Nun. <laughs> for yeah. Lincoln. For Lincoln, yep. Yeah. You think she'll say you really like me again? Maybe. Do you remember that? And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Cue the tears, bitch. She finally got the acceptance <laughs> she's been looking for her whole life. Next we have uh, Anne Hathaway. For uh, that French fucking musical, Les Miserable. That's what I like to call it. I thought you wanted to see that. <laughs> Don't say that. Edit that shit. What? You want to know the truth, Brian? The last time I saw Les Mis was when I was watching PBS and Wishbone did the book. <laughs> and you don't want that vision sullied? No. Up next is Helen Hunt for The Session. Helen Do you know Hunt. what this movie's about? Yeah, Helen Hunt. I forgot all about her. I did too. Last time we saw her was what? Pay it forward. That's when they kill that little kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago now. God. Um. Yeah. You know what the session's about? No. It's about uh, sex surrogates who go out and have sex with uh, mentally disabled people who are not desired. <laughs> Basically, it's like prostitution. It's sympathy. What? <laughs> are you serious? I'm dead serious. Check it out. It's called the session. And it's a big thing in California. They're actually trying to get a law passed where these, technically they're whores, and they're going out and having sex with people who are disabled. That's, uh, wow. Yeah. (laughs) So I guess if I have I can't say that. (laughs) No, you can't. What? No, you can't. (laughs) I'm sorry, man. And uh, lastly, we have uh, Jackie Weaver. I have no idea who she is. It's for the movie Silver Mines Playbook. For all we know, she could be some descendant of Sigourney Weaver. Right. Silver Mines Playbook. I have not heard of this movie. It's, I, he's got, like, some bipolar disorder or whatnot. Bradley Cooper. Oh, it's always if... It's some mental disabled. Right. Any movie with mental disorders always gets nominated. 
Yeah, you know what, Brian? I suffer from depression. Everyone pity me. <laughs> Give me an Oscar. Right? All right, keep moving. What was it that really upset you about the Oscars? What really upset me about the Oscars is really a lot of movies that were snubbed. And a lot of movies that were uh, nominated were just movies that were nominated closely. The movies that were nominated were the movies that came out that were open closer to the nominations. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Doesn't that usually happen, though? Uh, not really. I mean, they get the benefit of the doubt. I was content with the Oscars two years ago. That was a good Oscar. All right. Because when, um... Was it, like, the best movie? Exception was nominated. It's when they had, like, 11 movies up for Best Picture. You were upset. Toy Story was nominated for Best Picture, dude. That's crazy. The last animated movie that was nominated for Best Picture was... Do you know? I have no idea. Really? Lion King? No. One more guess. It is a Disney film. Little Mermaid. No. I don't know. Fuck. Beauty and the Beast. Really? Best Picture. Wow. I know. I saw that in the theater. I don't know if that was Best Picture. Wow. Gay alert. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it's seven. It's seven years old. You know what's sick? What? Because I know every song in that movie. No one fights like Gaston. No one drinks like Gaston. No one fights like Gaston. No one. I wish I knew the whole. So right. I guess I don't know all the song. Called the gay alert on me pretty quick there. <laughs> Such a quiet village. Every day. Like the one before. Little town. Full of little people. I could do the musical. Probably by myself. I know why you're really upset about the Oscars. Because of Batman. Yes. Uh, should we tell everyone that we made a bet back in the summer? Yeah, we did. And you said that Dark Knight Rises would be nominated for Best Picture. I did. I really thought for the first time ever they would raise a bar and nominate a fucking comic book <laughs> movie. Was it not great, dude? Think about it. The, the, the work and everything that goes in that movie. And he hates using CGI, so, like, he really did shit. I agree with you, but... And I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy Dark Knight Rises. That was great movie fucking making. Uh, it's. I wouldn't nominate the best picture. I wouldn't. I'm Not sorry. even best cinematography. Maybe, but so much of it jumped around so much. I liked the movie a lot, but it was really bloated. It's like he couldn't decide where he wanted to put most of his focus. I thought The Dark Knight oh, was, don't say was a better overall movie. Don't say that. They're all different movies, actually. You can't even compare the three, really. Well, you can compare the first and third one quite a bit. Have I upset you? I think you have. <laughs> You're upset all over again. Uh, <laughs> I like it's a good movie, man, but I don't think it was best picture worthy. Uh, <laughs> if anything, Batman begins and the the Dark Knight rises. Wait, I can't say that. Never mind. What were, wow. Never this mind. Sounds like it could be a big revelation here. Oh, I got a revelation for you. Oh. But you or the world's not ready for it, so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> You think you know the whole story? Think again. All right. So, Chris, uh, but it, I understand. Can I at least? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, we're not done with the Academy Awards. I thought. Oh, forgive me. Don't you want to know? Sure. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll be quick. So, for best actress, we got that slut Jessica Chastain. From Zero Dark Thirty, it's that propaganda movie about Bin Laden getting killed. Okay. The allegedly. Red, the redhead. Up next, we have Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Lines Playbook. Whatever. Next, we have Emmanuel Riviera. Whatever. It's for the movie Amamore. Or I forgive me if I can't say Amor. it. Is it Amore? Next, what? Is it Amore? Is that maybe what it is? Amore. It's spelled A M O U R. Amore. Coming up next is the movie. Beast of the Southern Wild. I can't say this bitch's name. It's all Swahili, whatever. Swahili. It's, <laughs> it's, I can't say it. I can't even pronounce isn't it. Isn't she like alien. seven years old? Quizine Willis. Quizion, whatever. I saw that movie. She's she's like a seven year old girl. And it's all in her head. She's a crazy bitch. <laughs> um, next is Naomi Watts from The Impossibles. And this, Brian, is a movie that everyone needs to go see. The Impossibles? The Impossible. Oh, The Impossible. What was yep. that? It's the movie about the uh, the uh, Indonesia. Oh, the tsunami. Yeah. yeah. 
we'll talk about coming out right as the nominations were announced. Well, dude, this is a great... They actually, it came out at the time, it was the anniversary of the time when the tsunami hit. That's when the movie came out. So, I mean, it wasn't... Whatever. Anyway. Best actor, we got Bradley fucking Cooper, Silver Lines Playbook. Again, this movie came out left field. Uh, Bradley Cooper. Cool. Danny Day-Lewis for Lincoln. I know you're probably orgasming right now as I said that, because I know you love the movie Lincoln. I did. Uh, we have Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Moving on. Lay Miserable. <laughs> Hugh Jackman sounds like such a poor name. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Huge Jackman. <laughs> nice grab. <laughs> Keep going. Up next is Joaquin Phoenix, and that, I like him. Wow, he's back? Yeah, he's back, dude, ever since that whole mental breakdown he had when he grew the beard and freaked out on Letterman. The fake mental breakdown? Yeah, whatever. That's cool, though. Backfire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And finally, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Everyone can hear you drinking over there. What are you oh, drinking? Oh, I'm sorry. I was drinking my H2 just to clear my throat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> out of your mint med mug. Uh, yeah. Can you see me? <laughs> 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 anyway... Finally, we have America's favorite black actor, and I'm not talking Will Smith. Denzel. It's Denzel Washington. <laughs> I knew it. Were you going to say that? I was going to say it. That was my next guess. Damn it. Then there's Forrest Whitaker, Morgan Freeman, and <laughs> Don Cheadle. Oh, oh. Yeah, wow. Dude, what about Chris Rock? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't done Oscar movies. Yeah, you're... Wait. Wait. Who do you think? <laughs> Is he not nominated for an Oscar? I don't think so. What have you been nominated for? All right. And then for Best Director, we got, again, Amor, Michael Hinky, whatever. <laughs> um, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Bien Zitlin, uh, Life of Pi by Ang Lee. If you, forgot, if you guys forgot him. I like Ang Lee. He did, uh, yeah, you would. He did, um, did he not do Brokeback Mountain? Did he? Yeah, he did. He did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was a great movie. I cried. It's a good movie. Is that weird? Okay. And then uh, we got Lincoln. Steven Spielberg is nominated for a fucking best director. Well, it's Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, he's powerful. You. <laughs> and then we have Silver Linings Playbook. David O. Russell. I need to see this movie. Yeah, apparently. right? Jeez. All right. Um, and then, yeah, best picture. Here we go. Drum roll, please. We got Amar, Argo, <laughs> Beasts of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Lay Miserable, Zero Dark Thirty, Silver Lines Playbook, Lincoln, and closing it out with Life of Pi. I am going to be upset if Zero Dark Thirty wins. I'll tell you what, if Zero Dark Thirty wins... <laughs> Well, there's nothing I can do. But I'll be very, very disappointed. You're going to go all rage on the rage against the machine on I, us? Well, I can tell you right now, it shouldn't be Zero Dark Thirty. It shouldn't be Lay Miserable. It shouldn't be Django. It very well could be Lincoln, Beast of the Southern Wild, or Argo. I'd be happy with any of those three. Or maybe even Silver's Lying surprised everybody I got nominated Playbook. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was making backroom deals for that. Right. You know, Bradley Cooper was gay. In the movie? He, well, in a lot of movies he played gay guys, so I just assumed he might be gay in real life. He went full gay? He could have. And once you go <laughs> full gay, it's like black, you don't come back. Well, Chris, uh So yeah, that's my Oscars rundown. I'm pissed that Batman's not nominated, but hey, it looks like it's gonna be a shitty Oscars for the eighty fifth time. <laughs> I hear a rumor again that uh, we've secured another Skype interview. Did we? I've heard I've heard rumors. Are you serious? I think so. Really? So those of you that are still with us, uh, stay tuned. Skype interview coming up. I got lotion. <laughs> I got the Kleenex. Good. Have a cigarette. <laughs> Afterwards. Oh. I'm a mitten man. I'm a nice man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an ass man. Yeah! I love to love him. I love to kick him. I love to shove him. I love to stick him. Love to blow him. I love to watch him. I love to pick him. And I'm gonna kick him. Cause I'm an ass man. Yeah, I'm an ass 
right, Chris, it's your favorite part, Random Skype Call of the Week. Skype Call, who I, do we got? I don't know. I gave you the list again. You gave me a list. I think we have uh, Josh. Is it Josh? Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's my name, Chris. You've been <laughs> me for about 10 years. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, what, are you lying like, to me? Uh, this this isn't a random call? No, this is, not, this is actually a special guest. Um, I set this up. Yeah, he, he must be on the bottle again, Brian. <laughs> Well, we caught him drinking earlier during the show. You could hear it right on the microphone. He took a big swig of something. It was mouthwash. <laughs> mouthwash? Are you yeah. that? Are you that desperate? <laughs> well, you know. Oh man, my Listerine's gone. Chris must have been over again. <laughs> anyway, Josh, how you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing all right. We we, we swallowing something over there? Uh, yes, that was some Bud Light. It was delicious. <laughs> Bud Light. Yeah. Well, I have a Coors Light right now. Oh, I've seen those commercials. <laughs> My, Silver Bullet? Yep. Yeah. They, they they work really hard for their beer. <laughs> My mountains aren't blue. Does that mean my beer's not cold enough? Well, if the mountains are green, then it's pretty pretty pr- probably pretty warm. <laughs> <laughs> They're not green either, so I guess I'm okay. Yeah, you, you'll be all right. <laughs> so, Josh, where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Michigan. I'm out here in California, though. Oh, wow, so Michigan. You've gone away from but the mitten state. I have. In fact, I'm going to make my way back to the middle of the mitten, though, here in June. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, is there someone else there? Bringing the fury back. Oh, my, <laughs> wife. my wife in the background. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the this is menage a trois, right? That's what, that's what they call this, right, right? Well, yeah, I'm. I'm really getting. I'm really getting. You need to update your profile picture, Chris, because that that shit is annoying me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what picture? What are you talking about? Um. Well, it looks as though you're covering your mouth with something. And you got some headphones on. <laughs> That's a serious post when we're ready to yeah, start the show. Yeah. That's my yeah. uh, my working picture. <laughs> no. It, it's okay. A, no. No comment. It's no comment. <laughs> it's professional head chat. <laughs> no anyway. comment. <laughs> Podcaster Chris, that's the pose. Well, you know, it's a dream. So, what I really want to know is, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I want to. I want to be on the Mitten Man. I want to be like the third wheel. Really? Well, that's a huge, huge uh, application process. I bet it. I bet it is. It is. Not so, to mention the uh, horrific initiation process. Well, you know, I've been initiated enough in my life. I'm I'm ready and willing. Can I say something? Where's this accent coming from? <laughs> Wait, you have which, an accent, sir. Is that I, do I have one? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I've been I've been I've been watching too many Irish films. <laughs> Irish or the Duck Dynasty? <laughs> I don't know where the accent comes from. I think I I don't know. Been in California. Well, it's definitely not a California list because I'm not speaking know. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Sell down. <laughs> Chris is about to regulate here. No, no. <laughs> I got an accent, but yeah. my upper lip is numb. <laughs> oh, yeah? I was, yes, I was beaten by Border Patrol the other day. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it? Uh, I survived. Okay. <laughs> Just... How many did you get across? Coyote. <laughs> uh, uh, they they yeah. didn't want to pay me. I sent them back the other way. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> so is this what goes on in California? I don't know. Is this What's a, up? Is this is a daily occurrence in California. Apparently, you don't know, do you, Brian? That's why I'm well, asking. Brian, you have a loop uh, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of. Uh, don't don't even get me started right now. We get millions, millions cross over here, and uh, somehow they make it into our school system. And, uh, millions, what? vouchers. We ain't got no vouchers. We don't need no vouchers. I don't have to show you any stinking vouchers. Yes, now we're now we've started. I can't even roll into a a Tux Bell or McDonald's without having my Spanglish book with me. <laughs> 
I lived in Chicago for four years. I had similar experiences. With what? I don't know. If, I don't know if Chicago is quite what it is out here. Well, probably but, uh, not as much, but there's other things too. Of, thank you very much. That's it. I was just gonna say I heard that uh, California is gonna start getting Dunkin' Donuts now. <laughs> We, we, in fact, do have Dunkin' Donuts out here now. And, uh, who runs the Dunkin' Donuts? Nah. The white. Just the white, the white folk right now. Well, not in Chicago, man. Every Dunkin' Donuts was, they were either Indian or somewhere in the Middle East. Every single Dunkin' Donuts in Chicago. I think they were Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> <laughs> Except it was for your Dunkin' Donuts. You want five cake? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. There was this guy from India that went, was at this Dunkin' Donuts that I'd go to all the time. It was a drive through and I went through with my car, and he was there. He worked there all the time, and he fell asleep in the drive through window, and it closed on his head when I pulled up. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back you up right there, Brian. Did you say you went through a drive through in your car? <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Things are done differently in Chicago. You just don't understand. That's great. You know he has a degree. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Money well oh, spent. Shit. That, was, that was awesome. That was awesome. It's quite a feat to pull I, I off. I want to hear that story again. Oh, fuck. Your accents really throw me off. <laughs> Your hand over, your hand over your face is really throwing me off. In this Don't pit. look at it. You're. I'm trying not to, but it keeps lighting up every time you talk. <laughs> your tattoos remind me of this scary horror film I saw. <laughs> what one is that? The one that I'm seeing right now. I'm kidding, of course, but. We're comparing Skype pictures. Well, if we had yeah. uh, Skype Premium, we could all do the video. <laughs> no, I really want. Yeah, if, if if I get Skype Premium and I only pay nine ninety nine or whatever it is. Yeah, because we couldn't make it ten bucks because that penny really saves everybody. <laughs> it yeah. takes a little off your tax you got to pay in the end. Yeah, of course. yeah, it really, it really does. And I don't know about your taxes, but out here they're slaying us out here. Well, we, how much we just, is a pack of cigarettes? No, we just out here. Yeah, uh, about five seventy-five. What? That's not that much more than here. It's like five thirty here. That's a dollar cheap. No, it's not. It's they're yeah, like five thirty here. You're paying. I mean, if all right. You buy a different brand. Michigan's pretty yeah. broke as well, man. <laughs> what? In Dude, Chicago, I, though? I, pay, I paid like six, six, seven bucks for a pack of cigarettes. Well, yeah, that's because you buy Newports. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you listened to the last episode, I'd be guessing you bought Newports. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Only half of me likes Newports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't resist it sometimes. Just when you want to play the card, <laughs> right? So you, so so Chris, what you're telling me is you buy them like them new camels that came out the pinch or whatever. So you, no, no, you smoke half a regular one and then pinch it and be mentholed up. <laughs> yeah, <I'm all> <laughs> <laughs> mentholed <Killers>. up. <laughs> oh, my throat's scratchy. Time to switch to the menthol. Right. Yeah. And speaking of Newport, it reminds me of President Obama. <laughs> oh, don't remind me of that guy. <laughs> well, we can move on. He's a, he's a, he's the reason Skype's ten bucks now. It's probably because of his Obamacare. Yeah, it's contributing. It's oh, his, his, his part of his Obamacare. <laughs> That's why everyone. Ten what... bucks for a Skype call. Who's who's really getting raped out here? Well, you know what? We all got problems. We certainly do. <laughs> Especially if you want to get Skype Premium. Yeah, exactly. We all got problems. Ninety nine of them. <laughs> Nine ninety nine of them. Ninety nine of them, and Obama is certainly one. <laughs> Ninety nine problems, but Mitt ain't one. I like he, that. He's... Oh, you anti. You're anti Mitt, aren't you, Chris? Anti man. You're anti Mitt. Well, I know that. But... No, dude, I love Mormons, dude. I have nothing against Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> You know what really pisses me off? I'm going to throw this out there. So I got these. What are they, baby? What are they? The Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> Did they come to your door? They came to our house the other day. 
And we didn't answer the door, of course, because I got a peephole, you know, we'd look out there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're not going to answer. <laughs> they, yeah, right. they got suits and books, don't let them in. Yeah, but then you leave a huge pamphlet on my doorstep. <laughs> so I open it up. Of course, I put rubber gloves on because I don't know, anthrax. What is, what, with terrorism these days, you know? The hiv. What? Exactly, the hiv. You never know. Somebody might have skeeted on that envelope. You don't know. So is it one of those brochures that like tells a little religious comic <laughs> oh, yes. book story? It's like, oh, yes. And then he's trying to go on about how he's my neighbor, you know, Hey, neighbor. He wrote a handwritten note. A handwritten note. Hey, neighbor. No, come that's psycho. Point my cause. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his address, and the guy lives like three cities down from us. <laughs> like, you ain't my fucking neighbor, man. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. You're all neighbors when you witness Jehovah. I, I, that's what I'm saying. If you witness Jehovah, we must be neighbors. Shit, I'm, I'm, I hope I witness them tonight with about a half bottle of tequila and shit. I was going to say, you get a bottle of Jack, you don't witness anything. If you yeah. turn around from the mirror and say Jehovah three times, he appears. I don't think he's supposed to do that. <laughs> he does. Fuck, he's, he's, he's watching me right now. <laughs> Jehovah watches you masturbate. <laughs> so is your pet. <laughs> I think I don't have any dogs. <laughs> oh, shit. Chris lets his cat watch him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to admit to that. What? <laughs> I don't let cat watch me. Anyway, let's talk about football. Oh, here we go. Football. Football. Don't get me started on that Tom Brady, Ray Lewis, <laughs> and what's his name? Mateo, Teo, whatever, from Notre Dame. We actually talked about him. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? His hoax girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. His hoax girlfriend's just like his NFL career. It's all going to be It's probably not going to happen for him now. <laughs> Oh, he'll still get drafted. You know the NFL. They look at yeah. talent first, character 10th. But he'll be like Tim Tebow and Brady Quinn and Dan LeFever. Tim Tebow. Yeah, he, Tim Tebow. Like, he ought to get in the Tebow position and pray he's going to make it in the NFL. <laughs> you know what? He'll make more money in the gay porn industry than he will in the NFL. <laughs> oh, did you, yes. Did you, did you see he just came out with his own line of uh, headphones? <laughs> he did? Yeah, like Dr. Dre came out with a beat, I, I believe. It Do was. they have crosses on the sides of them? <laughs> no, but he named he named his airline pair the Jets. <laughs> but is he playing for them next year? But 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 here's my thing: right. those headphones are probably going to last as long as he does with the Jets. Yeah, a year. <laughs> like he, he's about to disappear. <laughs> he's gonna fly away. You think he's going to Jacksonville? Yeah. Yeah, that that'd be his best opportunity. If if not, then he's gonna go to the CFL or the uh, arena football. W, he might the, do good. W, the, he... the WFL or whatever women's football <laughs> league. Cause, uh, the Panty up. League. Oh, that that is just a it's joke. It's the Panty League, the Bra and Panty League. Lingerie football. Yeah. Yeah. He I mean, might I, do I, well I, in the I CFL. I, mean, I could see Tim Tebow tearing up the CFL. I don't know. I can see him in gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> You're convinced on that one. Well, dude, come on! It might come out one day. Okay. I don't know. He's a pretty, he's a pretty religious man. He might have been the one that left the pamphlet on my doorstep. <laughs> dude, speaking of, who was that? <laughs> Ted Haggard. Ted Haggard was religious as fuck. He was in the White House he... advising George Bush, and it turned out he smoked crystal meth and had gay sex <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, That's right. George, 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 George was a big crystal meth smoker, so. <laughs> Can we say that? <laughs> That's how they were hanging out with each other. <laughs> I don't know. Can we say that? Are we safe? I think we're safe. But who was the top and who was the bottom? <laughs> okay. Well, I think they switched it up a couple times. <laughs> well, one's uh, president. Oh, shit. It, they, they weren't afraid. <laughs> All right, Josh. So if you hate Tom Brady and Ray Lewis, who are you rooting for in the Ravens-Patriots game? The, the Lions. Ravens. The Lions. <laughs> Lions. We can only hope. Yeah. Lions, because I don't know how you go from 10 and 6 to 4 and 12. I have no idea. It's the Lions, man. It's, it's, my it, whole life they've you know, been like true, that. True, 
true story, though. I drove all the way to uh, Phoenix to watch the Cardinals Lions game. Oh, that's badass. And uh, that was their worst game all year. That was, yeah, by far the worst game that the Lions played. And it's a good thing that there was beer there so I could get intoxicated. Cause that was, <laughs> like, that's like an eight hour drive from them. <laughs> oh, fuck. And, you know, that was a. That was a horrible game. They, they got blown out. I think, what was it, like 38 to 10 or something like that? Jesus like, God. How was the drive home? Uh, I don't know. I slept most of the way. My brother. <laughs> oh, you didn't drive? Well, I didn't drive. But hell no. I was. <laughs> All right. Patriots, Ravens. Who wins? Uh, I, I got the Ravens on this one. Patriots. I think Lewis is going to sack Tom Brady at least six times because he's pissed. He wants to go back to prison, and... <laughs> I don't know, he prays to God a lot, so I don't think... I think he's good. Ray Lewis post-game interviews are the best. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! He can't but settle down. It's like he's, he's, get... a beast. He's, he's a beast, and he's on his last season. He's got something to prove, you know? Tom Brady, he's got a few years left in him. He's uh... He's a sweetheart, although Tom Brady did come from a good college. Don't say that up. shit. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom Brady came from a good college. If, all right, if Wolverine's fucking... U of M? Is that there what you're referring? You... Hey, look at college basketball's coming back, Chris. I mean, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we yeah. got a couple more years, and Chris, I think we'll be there. Chris is the Spartans fan. He's getting upset right now. Yeah. Yep. I don't know why you'd be a Spartans fan. You know why I'm a Spartans fan? I'll tell you the truth right now. If you're a Spartans fan, you might as well, you, you might as well be a Penn, a Penn State fan, as far as I'm concerned. Fuck all that jazz, dude. <laughs> that shit's gonna come out. I don't fuck kids. <laughs> that, that shit's gonna come out a couple years from now. Oh, fuck. Not, <laughs> no, no. I'm a State fan out of spite. Because everyone in my fucking family loves Michigan and they're all about it. So I'm like, no, fuck all that. Oh, you I'll be a you gotta be a Michigan fan. You can't be. You gotta be a Michigan fan. No, Michigan State. Are you serious? Yeah, it was like forty For minutes what? away from home. It was right there. Their football team sucked. It was good <laughs> like a year ago, dude. They were in the national championships against yeah. Alabama. No, they, they weren't. <laughs> they, they were good a year ago. They, they weren't were in the national good. championship. Shut up, Brian. Making a team. point. <laughs> All right, so we got the Ravens, 49ers, Falcons. What's your 49ers, pick? 49ers. Oh, yeah, 49ers all the way. You crazy tight end that never got enough ball from San Francisco. They're going to the Super Bowl. Who, the 49ers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, the 49ers going to the Super Bowl. The Falcons are living a dream right now. Yeah, well, and, uh, they're going to choke. Was it Matt Ryan, He like he's going to choke. He always does. He got lucky last week. Not going to happen twice in a row. I don't think so either. I told Brian that the Super Bowl is going to be West Coast versus East Coast. The Harbaugh Bowl? 49ers. Brother versus brother? I'd well, like that. that. That'd be a pretty good one. But That's what it's going to be. Where is the Super Bowl this year? I don't even know. It's in uh, New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. Oh. It's almost like... So it's like... It's equal, though. So even if it wasn't East-West Coast team, you're playing right in the middle of the of America. Well, yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to say East Coast versus West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd like to see the I like to see the Niners win that. I think it's gonna happen. They started off pretty strong, and I don't know shit about football. <laughs> <laughs> so all, all I know is the Lions aren't in it. Yeah, uh, pretty much. No, they are. So it pretty it pretty much sucks, and you know, we, you know, I'm I'm out here in San Diego, and I really don't care about the Chargers. I like to see them lose. It's funny. I like Ryan Matthews. But, uh, do you, you watch basketball? No. I like the Lakers. Oh, ah. you gotta be, you must let, well. Oh, you guys right. are Clippers fans, aren't you? Yeah, oh yeah. We oh. It's been the three of them already this year. Come on. Oh, what are you just? Uh, they, Lob, Lob City. A Lions and Clippers fan? <laughs> you like to torture yourself or what? And. And I'm a Ducks fan out here. Hockey just started back up today. I, I can't God believe. Fucking forgive us all. Oh, the Ducks. <laughs> the oh. mighty Ducks. <laughs> they're just the Ducks every, now. Tell me, tell me, everybody. Yeah, well, well we know they're the Ducks now, but <laughs> everybody, everybody loved that movie back in the day. Don't get me wrong. Quack quack Come quack. On. Quack, Mister Duckford. <laughs> Come quack, on, what, what the fuck was his name? Made that movie back in the day. Who's the rest of this? Uh, yes, Gordon Emilio! Bombay. Emilio. <laughs> 
Come on, how many times? How many times you watch that movie and shit? I hey, Chris, I still got a bone to pick with you too. Where's my shirt at? What shirt? I know I got. I know I got that question right the other. Like, oh month. yeah, what are you talking about? What's yeah, that? Like three months ago, I, I'm still waiting for my shirt. You know, it's all just novelty talk. Did though. you promise a mitten men shirt? Did I? I was promised a mitten men shirt because I got that 1930s film. <laughs> fucking you cheated. Book. I didn't cheat. Yes, you did. <laughs> I watched the goddamn movie with you. I know. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, guys. Good as time as any to wrap it up after that. I'll let you sort out your shirt problems. But all right, you send me your address, and I'll figure out some kind of fucking shirt. Yeah, I actually, I will send you a shirt. All right, this is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. We'll see you later. All right, sir. Thank you. Any time. Any, any time. Bye, Definitely man. again. Mitten men, you got, you got me. It's the big man, Hitler took the guns, Stalin took the guns, Mao took the guns, the Castro took the guns, Hugo Chavez took the guns, and I'm gonna tell you, 1776 will commence again, if you try to take our firearms, it's the big man, Hitler took the guns, Stalin took the guns, Mao took the guns, the Castro took the guns, Hugo Chavez took the guns, There's something I have to mention since this is the end of the show. What's that? Uh, Mitten Man super fan, Mitten Man stalker, Mitten Man evil villain, uh, James M. Powers. Mm-hmm. You're familiar? Yeah, of course. Come on, are you serious? Well, I sleep with one eye open. <laughs> well, he, he had a birthday, so I want to wish him a happy birthday. Oh, wow. How old? I believe he turned 30, the big 3 0. Oh, it's downhill after that. I'm down- 31, and it sucks. It's all downhill from there. That's I, not true. Live it I, up. It's kind of, I hit the big 3-0 this year in 2013. It's kind of bad timing, I think. You know, the number 13 to turn 30. Ew. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I don't know. It just seems like it'll be bad luck. I think your juju's all off. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess we have a surprise, too. Should I spoil it here at the end of the episode, Chris? What's that? Uh, that was our 10th episode, as we mentioned in the beginning of the show. Wow. So it was a little <laughs> gift to everyone. Uh, I'm going to put together, well, we're going to put together a little best of of the first ten episodes for the next episode. That's great. So we'll have a little best of segment. We'll be in there. and uh, That's great. So season complete? Season complete. Stop it. We'll see it. That's the first season of the Midman. It took longer than probably we expected, but we still got there. Wow. So we'll do a little best of. You know, you can, you can sh- show that to all your friends. Besides making a woman come during sex, this is the second thing I've ever completed. <laughs> this is a huge accomplishment for me. It's a big accomplishment. Season one of the Mint God, Men. Finishing right shit. now. We'll do the best of, and then we'll come back better than ever. Yeah, I think so. Bigger, better, and bolder, better than ever. bolder, more in your face, hardcore. <laughs> what? <laughs> So everyone that's been listening, we love you. We're all still going to be around. Keep spreading the word. Yeah, how about Josh? That guy is weird. <laughs> Something else. Well, he's not weird, but he's definitely eccentric. We'll have more guests. We'll have everything. We'll edit that all out. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Chris. Take us out. The Mint Men. The Mint Men. Oh, the silence. I thought you were going to say something. I surprised you, huh? You did. Ah! We'll see you next time on the Mitten Men.